Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about power measurement with the help of a watt meter. And this is part of the three phase systems. But before going into the three phase systems, we'll first uh, see its application in the single phase system. Now this is the power meter. Please note that it has four terminals, two for the current, this is ampere terminal or current terminal, and two for the voltage. And the way it is connected is, if this is the circuit whose power we need to measure, then we connect the current terminal in series of the circuit and the potential terminal or voltage terminal in parallel with the circuit. Now in the next slide, we'll measure power of the source V2. Therefore, we have connected the power meter before the source and current source in series or the current coil in series and the potential coil in parallel with the source. And it is important that we make correct connection. The current coil has to be in series and potential coil in parallel. And sometimes you, you get the reading in a reverse direction, this way. So the either we can reverse the current terminal or we can reverse the uh, voltage terminal to correct that. It is easier to reverse the voltage terminal, so this is preferred. Now let's see uh, this question. We have to calculate the power absorbed by the right source. So we need to calculate the power by this source. Now this formula will be using extensively, so you keep in mind that for all reactive circuits, the power will be V multiplied by I and multiply by cos of the difference between the two angles. So cos theta V minus theta I. So in this case, the power absorbed will be V2, this is the voltage source, multiplied by this current I and cos of the two angles, angle of V2 minus angle of the current I. So if you remove the uh, these coils to make the circuit simple, so this will be like this. This is where the current source, uh, current coil was, and the potential coil in parallel. So this is the simplified circuit now. And to find the power, as we saw from here, V2 is already given, so we need to find the current in the circuit. So. Now this is a simple um, circuit where we can find the current, this current I. So the easiest way is to take the two mesh, I1 current here and I2 current here, I2 is actually I. So we take uh, mesh number one. And we write the equation, we start from this corner, we have a negative sign, so negative 190, negative 190 multiplied by 10 I1, so I1 into 10, and multiply by, this is shared by the 2, so I1 minus I2, J5, so I1 minus I2, J5, and then we simplify, take the uh, I1s uh, and I2 separately, so this is the equation 10 plus J5 I1 minus J5 I2 is equal to 100 angle 90 degree. This is our first equation for mesh number 1. Now similarly, we write equation for mesh number 2. We start from here. This is touching this terminal first here. So this will be a positive. So we write positive J5 into I2 minus I1. So it is positive I2 minus I1 into J5. Then we have 10 I2 and then we have this voltage source. So 100 angle 0 equal to 0. Again by simplifying and uh, 
combining the like terms. So this will be J5 I1, 10 plus J5 I2 and minus 100, uh, 0 degree. This is second equation. Now <clears throat> the easiest way is to write the T equation in the matrix form. So we are writing this here, J5 here, similarly minus J5 and this one. And so this is the Kramer rule. If you uh, have forgotten, you must see my videos uh, on the subject. Uh, or you can take help from the book. But uh, anyway, now this is our um, delta. So we'll solve it. So delta, and we solve, multiply this, minus multiplication of this, so this, minus these two terms. And by solving, delta comes to be 141.42 angle 45 and since we are interested in i2 because i2 multiply by this will give the power so uh, instead of delta 1 we'll straight away calculate delta 2 so we calculate delta 2 we replace the second column by the voltage source this one comes here and again by solving this i hope you know how to solve this we get an answer of 1581 angle minus 161.56 and so I2 is given by delta 2 over delta so we write the values this one for delta 2 and divided by delta and so current is 11.20 angle 153.1 now this is uh, answer here was in my calculator it came to be minus 206 it is better to write or the in the book he has followed this so he has written it positive so we can just add 360 with any angle uh, so by adding 360 we have got angle 153.4 ampere since theta can be written as theta plus 360 so we got the current and now the po simple power absorbed will plug in into the formula V2 is 100, 100 angle 0 so we just write 100 and the current from here 11.20 uh, we have in the book has got 11.18 and then cos theta V, theta V is 0 minus angle 153.4 and so by solving this we get the answer to be minus 1000 watt now minus means what since it is negative therefore the pointer will rest against the downscale slope so the pointer of the meter instead of going towards this it will be flipping towards left and so in practice the potential coil can be reversed more quickly than the current coil and this reversal will provide you an upscale reading of 1000 watt so i hope this gives you an understanding of how to uh, use uh, power meter in a single phase circuit and to calculate the power thank you